Hello everyone, this video is about use memo hook versus use callback hook. What is the difference between them? And we will just explain it and you will get a clear concept of this. What is the difference? So let's, I will just show you an example for both of them and you will understand very well through examples. First of all, the use memo hook is used to memoize value, but the use callback hook is used to memoize function. So now let's explain it with an example. This is example for use memo hook, okay, which returns just memoize value. Okay, I have these two two state variable, one number or for dark, dark theme. And this is the style, CSS style, which I have applied on this two. And this is um, a function which I have called and it return a number. This is the function which I have created, okay. And I pass the number here and then I just uh, go through, um, I return that number back, okay. And I use this loop just for the purpose to show you. Instead of this loop in real application, you may be uh, perform some operation on this num number, okay. But I have just used this loop to show you the example, the difference. So now let's check this example. Okay, the app is running. Let's save it and let's move to the Chrome browser. This is the app which is running. Okay, let's move to the console also. So now, for example, okay, let's once I will refresh it. Yeah, after refreshing this, so let's first of all press this button. Okay, I would like to change the number. See, it will take some time. See, it is taking some time because again, let's press it. Again, it takes some time. Press it again it takes some time when I press this toggle button see it takes some time then it toggled but instead of this whenever I press the toggle button I don't need to wait because I just uh, deal here with number I don't need to wait whenever I press the toggle button again it takes some time press again it takes some time but this is the problem it uh, just affect the performance of our code so for this purpose we want to call this uh, um, function here I showed you whenever we press this toggle button again it call this uh, uh, function okay this function if we change the number again that calls the function so we don't need to call that function whenever uh, we don't need to call that function whenever we need uh, whenever we press the toggle button we need to call this function whenever we just change this number so for that purpose we use use memo hook so let's use the use memo hook so let's import it yeah that has imported Using memo hook has the same syntax as use effect. It has two uh, arguments. The first one is the use callback function, and the second one is the array dependency. In the array dependency, I will just pass number. It will re render this use memo hook whenever we change this number. Okay, this number. So here I will just return, I will call a uh, calculation function now, and I will pass number to that. And let's store that number inside const c number is equal to let's name it c number let's remove now this save it so now let's check it again let's refresh it yeah so now whenever i press this toggle button it will not call that function see it didn't call and didn't print directly automatically that toggle see but when i change this number see that called the loop has printed and it has changed after two three seconds again after two three seconds and it is calling that function so it was the difference it is returning use memo video uh, memo is video okay just a video whenever we need a video to return we perform some operation that and we want to return that so for that purpose we are using use memo hook but the use callback function is used to return uh, memo is function so for that let's create another example so this is the example for use callback hook so this is again to state variable style and this is the method okay which return a table for example whenever we pass a number to this uh, function this number okay so it will return a uh, number multiply by one by two and by three and this is the code input field and this is button for toggle and this is the print table another component which i have passed this function to this uh, uh, print table component so let's check this print table component uh, we get got this uh, uh, calculate function then we have a, a state uh, um, variable where we store this uh, uh, array okay when we return this array we will store that inside this row uh, in use effect hook uh, we just console this uh, statement and we set the that uh, array inside this um, this means that it will be um, updated whenever we call update this function whenever we call this function and we printed that row 
the values of that row so now let's check the result okay what is the result of this so this is the result we printed those three variables those three table okay uh, and this is the toggle button so now whenever we change uh, this let's press change the number see the table printed it means that print table component has called okay let's check that this component has called this print table again let's press toggle button what happened again that has called but instead of that we don't need whenever we press the toggle button again that component this print table component has called so this is the problem okay if we change the number that is called if we press the toggle button again that is called so whenever we change number okay we will call that company we, because we need to perform some operation and that numbers we want to call that component but when we press the toggle button we don't need to call that component so for this we use callback uh, yeah, hook okay which uh, memoize a function so now let's uh, come here uh, first of all let's import that so let's use use callback hook use callback so that has imported automatically hey, the syntax is the same as the use memo hook okay the same syntax it has the first uh, argument is the uh, use uh, the callback function the second one is the array dependency in the array dependency we will just pass number okay whenever we change this number so we will call this function so now let's copy this cut it okay and paste it here and also use const here we will assign this name of this function we memoize this function okay so so now let's check it okay what happened now let's refresh the code so let's now first of all change the number see the table has printed that has changed okay let when we press the toggle button see that has not printed it means the component has not called so it was all about the use callback function that we learned so now the difference of these two hooks was that use memory hook, hook was just uh, memoizing a value but this memoized a function for us okay this is the main difference between these two uh, hooks the use memo hook use is used to memoize a value just one value but the use uh, callback hook is used to memoize um, a function for us so it was all about this i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and like this video coming down thanks for watching